Yo, 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 it's your boy Dave coming at you with another Upbeat Tech review on a Monday. Look, I love my Mondays, but what I don't love is this next product. We've got the Amazon Alexa Echo Buds in the house. They couldn't have came at a more worse time. Seriously, Amazon, what were you thinking? I literally got these the day after receiving Apple's AirPods Pro. And those just like completely reset the bar for what wireless headphones can do and should be. So, horrible timing. Anyways, let's jump into the unboxing. Look, guys, I'm gonna be honest, I've had these for about a week now. Most of that time, the AirPods have been really taking the attention, but this weekend, I made sure to give these some love. Okay, moving on to the inside and what's included. You've got your case with the earbuds. Get to these last. Amazon, you listening? I, I mean, probably not, but if you were, what is this? Seriously. What in the world is this? It's almost 2020 and you giving us micro USB. I get it's a budget product, but you could have did USB-C at least, come on. Or, or throw some wireless charging on the buds, which it doesn't have. Anyways, moving on. Extra tips, I've already switched my mediums out, which has come pre-installed on the buds, to the smalls. It also has a large. You then also get rubber pieces that help you fit it in your ear if the buds don't fit very stable in your ear. I didn't have that problem. They fit fine for me. Also went ahead and got the memory foam buds that they recommended at checkout. It's about an extra 10 bucks. Look, if you're medium or large and don't really like the hardness of the tips, me personally, I mean, I know it says medium small for the smalls, they're more of a medium, did not fit my ears. All right, on to the main event, the Echo Buds and their charging case. First thing I just noticed is it is huge. Seriously, guys, huge. Like about double the size of the new AirPod Pros and those were already bigger than the original AirPods. I'm sure they're still pocketable, but a little uncomfortable. The hinge itself is not magnetic. It's more of like a spring action. It isn't so great. You can't just be sitting there playing with these. It's not really one handed. Look at that. See, I'm over here throwing them out. I personally don't need the rubber tips that are included. They do not fall out of my ear. But then again, I think I'm just naturally blessed with my ears because no matter which headphones I put on, they just fit me. All right, guys, I am back at Time Out Market and this time with the Echo Buds. Okay, we're gonna test the sound quality with the ambient noise around us and how that pass-through mode works. I can tell you now, I've got the pass-through on and it's horrible. I, I just, I hear an echo in myself. I've tried different buds, you name it. I've done it. I've played with the settings a multitude of times. I found this to be the best that I have right now and it's, it sucks. There's just no other way to say it. Keep that in mind. I mean, I, I guess if you're at an airport waiting for your gate to be called, okay, I think that will help in this case, but otherwise it's it's just not feasible. And I would hate to have a conversation like this. Heck, I remember having a conversation with the guy getting this. I ain't got a chicken sandwich this time. I got myself a burrito. Let's go, baby. Mm. It, and talking to him, ordering, it felt weird. I almost want to take the buds out of my, my head. Like, it, it just wasn't natural. Now, let's go ahead and test the background noise with uh, noise cancellation on. Wipe my fingers off right now as we speak. It's a greasy burrito right there. Let's go. Okay. It's much better. The, I, I do like it. Um, let's compare them right quick to the AirPods Pro reduction. Really, honestly, you know the main difference I can tell is when the noise reduction is on and I do speak, they sound so much better. So I know it's both noise cancellation technology and the Echo Buds, but it doesn't compare to the Apple ones. So I, can, I can say that with confidence after testing the side by side. Electric skateboard. And I can tell you when I was riding my board and I had the pass through on because I got to hear cars around me, you know what it sounded like? It sounded like watching a video with a lot of background noise, wind noise that is. And that's kind of what it felt like. So unnatural. I could tell they were there the entire ride. I knew they were there. And with the AirPods, it just 
she forgot about it. There, there wasn't that extra noise. Sure, it was slightly amplified, but not like it is with these. So I'm gonna get back to this, or I'm gonna get to this burrito and enjoy it. All right, guys, so I am back, and before I continue this video, I got to take these buds out because let me be honest with you, it sucks talking with them in. I was literally placing an order for that delicious coil burrito and I felt like I wanted to take my buds out midway through conversation just so I could have a normal dialect with the dude and it's, it's that bad. So Amazon has not figured out transparency mode. Is it cool that they, you know, attempted and added it? Oh, maybe, maybe. I just, I really wish it would, would have been a little more refined. I disagree with so many reviews of these Echo Buds out there. I don't know if some of these people being paid by Amazon or what, but when I played some music, I literally thought maybe something was wrong with my Echo Buds. It was that bad. So I went to the settings. I played around with the bass, treble, you name it. I tried every different dynamic and it just sounded bad. You know what it sounded like? You know what it, first impression it gave me when I played some music? It literally reminded me of the time Delta was giving out free headphones to watch movies. And I remember listening to those things and just saying, yeah, this is bad, but hey, you know, movie's a movie, a flight's a flight, you gotta do what you gotta do. If one word if I could use to describe it, it's raspy. It's just, you know, when I put Echo Buds in one ear and the AirPods in the other, and you instantly just can tell a difference. Another big thing I noticed is the volume. It doesn't get super loud. It's about 60, maybe 70% of the volume of the AirPods Pro. I also, as you saw at timeout, did a comparison between the noise cancellations and this is where I thought the buds would shine because they have both noise cancellation in them and no, sorry guys, no. The AirPods, hands down better. All right, last thing I wanted to talk about is battery life. Considering how large this case is, I expected a slightly better battery life. Now, the case itself will give you about 20 hours of charge for the individual AirPods, which will give you five hours of usage. Pretty standard on the buds, but on the charging case, considering how big it is, you know, I, I know Apple's charging case is smaller and gives you 24 hours, so not sure what happened there. There you have it. I, overall, I do not recommend the Echo Buds. They fail miserably in so many different categories and are just okay in all the rest. There's nothing that stands out about these that are just like, okay, if you're this person, get them for this reason. Well, I take that back. There is one category, price-wise. I don't believe there's wireless headphones out there that are in this price category that offer noise cancellation. It's hard to recommend these, unless you're just on a super tight budget. Otherwise, save your money, sell your kids, your house, do what you gotta do, get the AirPods Pro. I mean, it's just hands down better quality. Or what you can do is try to find a used pair of the Sony ones. Those are also much, much better. Now, if you actually wanna see a comparison of all three, let me know it down below. Guys, those are my final thoughts. Stay away from these. Don't let your kids touch them. Don't even let your cats and dogs lick it because they, they ain't going to like them. I just had to tell you guys the truth. This is how I feel about it. And, and you know, Amazon, if you're listening, which you're probably not, just take that stuff into consideration. From the, you know, micro USB charging to the bulky case, you know, to the audio quality. Come on, guys. Come on. You can do better. You hear me? Okay. Love you guys, I'll see you in the next one.